Hello everyone, Steve here again. I'm back with a quick follow-up to my previous video where I took uh, Steve Blass's 1973 payoff pitch card and built a spreadsheet to do a uh, simulation of his card playing against uh, the 1972 Rick Monday batting card. Uh, that card was selected um, to kind of represent what an average batter did actually in 1973. Um, and I wanted to see how Steve Blass's results would turn out against uh, that generic uh, hitter card. And so I did a series of a thousand iterations uh, or simulations, I guess I would say, of that matchup. And what I concluded at that time in that video is that for some reason, um, Steve's card produced results that was a lot more offense than maybe could have been expected. Uh, Steve Blass's batting average against in 1973 uh, was somewhere around 313, I believe, and his ERA was uh, just under just under 10. Um, it's an amazing story. Check out my other video. Um, what I realized uh, in the last couple days since I built that spreadsheet, I was doing some analysis of the Sports Illustrated game and a matchup of, of Jim Palmer versus uh, a generic card of, of the league average. And I realized I didn't need to do a simulation. What I could do is just, you know, do the math and figure out what the expected outcomes would be. Now, just for illustration, it won't change the answer, but just for illustration, um, I said, well, what if, what if Steve Blass faced Rick Monday a thousand times? Um, you know, what's the point estimate of, of the outcomes? And so taking into account rounding, this is how, how it all works out. It, it came out to a thousand and one plate appearances, but if I, um, if I would do it again, it might come out to exactly a thousand. Uh, and what it what it proved, if you will, is that the batting average against was was a little higher uh, than you would expect. And this is the statistic here. This ERC is an estimate of ERA. It's called component ERA, and you can see it's right around fifteen. My conclusions really haven't changed, uh, as I said in my other video. If I go up here to Steve's card and change uh, one of his patient outcomes uh, to a tough outcome, then what you find is uh, the batting average comes out to just, just around 300, so not too far off, and the ERA comes out to, to the low nines. So uh, again, doesn't prove really much anything. I think Steve's, Steve's card is such an outlier uh, given, you know, uh, how he lost all control that year after being at the peak of his career. Uh, but it is interesting. Uh, and, and really, you know, you could do this analysis of expected outcomes um, for any one-on-one -on -one matchup uh, in payoff pitch or, or the Sports Illustrated game or, or probably just about any other uh, uh, baseball sim. Uh, I don't want to extend this much longer than it needs to be, uh, but uh, if you have comments, they're always appreciated. Uh, of course, likes and subscribes are fine too. Uh, I may not do a lot more about payoff pitch. I think I've analyzed it to the extent I want, but uh, if you haven't seen my other videos on payoff pitch, check them out. And um, again, feedback is welcome. Thanks.